Guys, take another two minutes to finish your do now. Set his camera for two minutes. We're gonna go over, so don't don't worry if you if you're not sure. Oh no, I just need one to go over it first. Oh, I'm so slow. Okay, time's up. Number one, where does the planet get its energy from? The sun. Okay, cool. What do you think the arrows in the food chain mean? Bless you. Thank you. Yo, it's crazy how okay. I just text where you at. So, do we agree or disagree with Mikhail? I agree. What? Okay, Mikhail, can you, can you explain again, please? Everything, everything is in the audio Cut the meat into however specific way they want to cut the meat. They package it, ship it to us, we cook it, we that's like a huge it's like an energy factor. Oh, yeah, yeah, something like that. But there's also a lot of other things that will go into that food chain, like delivery, handling, things like that. But to make it simple, something is eating something from another for, for whatever reason. So, so, could you walk her through this again, diving. like how you did that? The so. sun gives the plant energy, which the plant needs. Everything needs energy. So the, the plant gets energy from the sun. The bunny eats the plant, which gives it energy. And the owl needs energy, so the owl eats the bunny. Do you see that happening in your... Keep going with that. Do you see it happening that way? Right. So, the arrows, therefore, are pointing to who? Um, the main predator. So, what does the person in front do to, to the person behind it? Eat it. Eat it. Take it. Take its energy. So, therefore, the arrows... Arrows point to who? The predators. The pr right, the person doing the what? What action? Um, the taking? I guess you could say the The eating. The arrows point to the person doing the eating. Okay? Right. So between the plant, bunny, and owl, from your figure, from the same figure, which one has the most energy? Which one has the most energy? Um, well, in the end of the in the end of the cycle, or at, like how we're looking at it now? How we're looking at it right now. The, so the here does. you have the owl, the the rabbit, and the plant. The just plant, these three. The plant does because it's receiving direct energy from the same. Why, Kenya? I 
No, if it's an ecosystem, something has to eat something. What does the plant do, Kenya? Because I like your answer a lot, but why did you choose it? I forgot what the um, question is. Can I ask you a question? What is it that they call the the first, like, what do they call the plant? What is it called again? Ooh, it's a specific we are answer. going to totally get to that next Ooh, oh. foreshadowing. Um, I forgot what it's called. That's crazy. Not quite. Through. Mikhail, would you go back and explain why the plant has the most amount of energy? Um, because it's receiving direct energy from the sun. Everything in the everything in that um, in that food chain has to eat one another in order to obtain energy. The sun is already giving the plant energy. So it's, it's I forgot what it's called. What does the plant do to create energy? For, um, photosynthesis. Correct. Correct. Right. Right. What is it called? Why are no, you No, we're doing totally to going to do it. We're literally going to do it next. And you're totally going to be like, oh my God. And you're going to have that moment. And it's going to be way better than me telling you. Oh, it's right here. Like, ah! Right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> it is right there. Okay. So, Kenya, why does the plant have more energy? Right, because it does photosynthesis, which means it makes its own energy, right? Versus the bunny. What does the bunny have to do to get energy? Yes. It has to munch on the, munch on the plant, right? Yeah, so much. the plant had and it gave and we never do anything completely efficiently, right? So we lose some energy. Thank you. Thank you, Sire. Right? And so then the animal, the, the rabbit had to eat the owl had to eat who? The bunny who had to eat the plant, right? So which one of these, therefore, has the least amount of energy? The owl. It's, it's, it's later in the food chain. It takes longer for the rabbit to get to where he didn't to eat. Correct. Nice job. So, Mikhail has already foreshadowed to what we are going to do. If you flip over your, your do now, you will see that you have um, places for words to go. I'm All upset right. about that one. I can't believe I didn't know that. Whoa! It's okay. producer. That's that crazy. Vocab yes. So we have, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let me, you want that one? Yes. Okay. Nice. Yes. What's up? What's wrong? Oh, it's at the end. Okay. Will you share if yours works? Because we're at the very, very end. Okay, so here's what you are doing. Each thing on your paper, if you look at this paper, give me a second, look at this paper. You have your vocab words, right? You're going to cut these out. I don't care what order you put them in, and obviously they match on your table under what column? Vocab words, right? After that, if you look underneath, you have something that's called root words. Good. So what you're going to do is match the root words with the vocab word. How? Right? Is, if we just have like you gotta cut it out. five, and over here we have six words. Oops. So, right underneath, sorry about that, right underneath. Guys, my mistake, I made your table too small. I apologize. Thank you for catching that, Thaisa. Right underneath will be your six columns. So, this, like this space under here will be your six columns, okay? You're going to match your root word. After that, you're going to match the correct definition. Are we clear? Yeah. So there are six Can I get my vocabulary paper back? words. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> but I only made five calls. Can I get my paper back? Yes. Bye-bye. Students will create their own food. 
went to define how energy, to describe how energy flows through the ecosystem, through any Bye, uh, you too, Sire. Thanks for contributing. No, it's one. Yep, there you go. Which one? Yes. Guys, it's just bold. The primary is bold because you're matching the root word because all of them say primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, right? So the bold shows that when you go down to the root word, you're matching that bold. You're not matching consumer every, every, over and over and over again. That makes sense? I hate using scissors because I'm lifting. Oh. My bad. You know. There's no lift in the scissors. Also, the sun. Hint, the sun's gonna go up here. The sun's not any of these direct source of energy, right? <laughs> Did you finish? I didn't even you do anything down there. Careful, man. Decomposer could be a vulture too. Because vultures eat compost. Help living things. Never know. They eat dead things. Yeah, but it's still meat. 
It's more so the trash in there. Yeah. So it might be easier for the start, but I didn't get a bonus. And what you're doing? Wrong, wrong word, sorry. <laughs> wrong word. I meant, I meant. Right there. We're going to continue into next period, but at 12.30, um, I'm going to leave you on your own merry way and go to the um, Yes, so you, no, no, no. So this is the vocab words. It was all, um, Oh, you cut them like that. Sorry. Perfect. Beautiful. So now you have to match the root words. You have your root words. So for example, producer. Which root word? Correct. So match your root word with your um, with your vocab word. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. So do you think producer as goes with decompose? I So producer and consume? No. So this stays here. Oh, These are all correct. This is going to annoy this me. This list is correct. Oh, man. Your root word means the word that is inside of a word. Correct. Good. So same thing here. Consumer. Good. Primary. Good. Secondary. Good. Tertiary. Good. Good. Like that. Good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Clarification, I like that. Uh, this glue is... Uh, this glue is it not really working? working? Here, why don't you try this? Nope. Okay. Kramer! Any you chance you have a little bit more glue? A glue. Got it all. Okay. Good. No, because you got some... Um, no, you done. Some dough. Um, let me run up to my room and quickly get some tape. Yeah? Okay. Sure. Um, in the meantime, I think you can share with uh, Kenya. Oh, you have some? Oh, it's not working? Okay. Let me go get uh, tape and I'll be right back.
Those are my words too. That's 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 fucking. Nah, what? Not me in this class. I'll be the worst type of person to be around, bro. I'm a, I'll be a bad one for you. Yeah, you're different. Okay, yep, all right. Okay, thanks for dealing with me. Oh, okay, perfect. Not really. You yeah. help? Um, who needed... Who needs glue? Come on. You want a glue stick? They said they prefer... I prefer this. Okay. But you know it's not going to dry that fast, and then you're going to end up with, like, slimy paper. Okay. No, you don't like. Oh, okay, okay. An artist, I get it. You know what you're doing, that's fine. Is your glue working? Okay. Beautiful, next. Okay, so now what does the next column say? Definition. Definition, right? So now you are trying to put, based on the, the vocab word, Figuring out what the root word is. Now, because do you know what it means to produce something? Yeah. Right. So now that helps you understand better which definition might go with producer. So, for me, the so back these are some. Class, back to the library. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So producers. Oh, these yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yes. And nice. I like this strategy. And this one goes. Right? I want you I want you to try and do it on your own. It's not about being right or wrong. It's about using your deductive reasoning okay. so that we can, you are figuring out like, hmm. And if you don't glue them, you can switch them how you want to. Okay. I need a... What do you need? A tertiary? A tertiary what? Just make this a chicken or something, and then like, who would be the tertiary? Just a chicken? After an owl? After an owl? No, what I noticed. It would be a hawk. Probably be a hawk, right? Maybe just right. Maybe just right. Mice? Yeah. Hawk. Go ahead. Put them. No, just no. tell me if it, I'm, I'm right or wrong. Why does it matter if you're right or wrong? Because I'm not going to put the wrong thing on my paper. Okay, why? Because I don't like. But you learn from being wrong, yeah, right? Yeah, but over here I can learn. But over here you can learn. Okay. This is good. I'm going to do it the long way. Down. So why did you pick produce? Why did you pick produce their own food? Generally from the energy from the sun. Because that's the photos. definition of produce something. Okay, good. Huh? So for number two, why did you put consumed other organisms? Yeah, that's why I was close. Because what? you consume. Yeah, you you gotta, like, why would I you have to eat you know, you something. Like that. Okay. Um, but that's right, right? Yeah. Did it sound right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good. And that's what matters. I'll be right there, Adriana. Adriana. 
Um, good, and that's what matters. You're using, you're using your reasoning, your logic. That matters more than me telling you you're right. Okay. Decompose organisms that break down dead or decaying organisms. Why did you pick that for decompose? To be honest, you cannot say. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> decompose means like basically to break down. So the, this prefix D means to uncompose something, right? Um, and then number four, primary. How did you know it consumed the producer? Because the primary always consumed the producer. Good. Way to go back into your former former knowledge. Five secondary ha consumes two organisms in the chain. How do you know? Because the secondary always has like always has the consumer and the Like, always go like the, fr the front and back because it's like the first one's gonna eat the second one, and the second one's gonna eat the second one. Okay, and then the last one consumes three organisms in the chain because can eat more than one. Okay, um. So, primary means first, right? Secondary mm -hmm. means? Second. And when I say, oh, she finished second, what place is she, how many people were in front of her? One. One, right? So, she was number? Two. Two, right? So, if I say she finished third, how many people were in front of her now? Two. Two. So, what place is she in? Third. Right, and how many is that? Three. Three, right. So that's another way to go from tertiary to third to three. Okay? Listen, you don't need my help, Missy. All of them are correct because your logic is good. Thank you. You are awesome. Thank you. Oh, okay. I don't have a sun. What? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And I think I lost my. Okay. I'm gonna find you a sun. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna find you this sun. It's gonna be the most beautiful sun. The sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Please try and draw one. Please. Adriana. She really wanted one. She wasn't going to draw. I was just going to tell her to draw one. She wasn't going to let you go. No. At all. Nice. I'm going to draw one. Yeah, actually, it's really good. <laughs> uh, here. Oh, I definitely didn't need to throw that. Did we have any definitions in here? Let me use blue six. I used to throw them at my teachers. It's okay. It'll look what um look what Victor's doing. Even though it's long, even though it's long, it goes over. That's okay. Wait, I can do a short. Is it short? No. Unless you like cut the words. What you could do is just like you did primary and secondary. Uh, you can cut them in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cut them in the middle. So like for example. <laughs> You'll explain it? Okay, thank you. Or, yes, you can write it. Um, that's what Thais is doing. But you do not have to do that. You can do whatever makes you happy. Where'd Kenya go?
don't actually know if this works. <laughs> I don't know what they can see. <laughs> you have a pinch of squirrel? <laughs> Why is the world ass mouse in this video right now? It's, uh, can you see it? I'm trying to like show it. Your work. I don't think it's working, but. Don't get my face mask. I'm trying not to. This is all taped? Not like that. <laughs> ah, where is it? Lord. Like, this is easier, miss. What is? Taping it. Taping it? That's awesome. So, Carlos, how are we doing? Yeah? Okay. Because the boo situation is not going very well for me. I think you created us crazy. Yeah, but now I'm tired of doing that. I want, like, you want the glue stick? Come up with a I want a good glue stick. We gave you a good glue stick. Check this out. That's Kenya's glue stick. Kenya. Yeah, or you could share with um, Victor. Victor I'm also has a good one. Because Victor's talking some nonsense right now. I'm good. What's that? What's that? Consumer what? Who is talking yeah. to you to talk to you? That's what crazy, do you bro. Think? Oh, man. I, she was thinking about it. I think I was. Okay. Oh, guys. Yep. Um, for consumer, if you haven't done it already, so consumer, I just wanted you to understand what a consumer is. You can skip that square consumer and go directly to primary, secondary, or tertiary Consumer in this case was just the definition. So let me no, know. No, this is actually how it's supposed to be, though. This is how it is in the book. It goes producer, consumer, primary, consumer, secondary. Oh, no, well, you don't. You don't even. Need, they don't need that. They don't need that. I guess they. Uh-huh. Nice. Yes, thanks. What's up, man? Okay, guys, I'd like this to be done before. Wow. And then there was Thaisa. Good old Thaisa. Oh, you got a, I got a big ass glue stick. I got a big glue stick. Come on, God. Okay. But I have a question. Is this a consumer? Did you get the picture? No, but that's the plan. I'm not yeah. Oh, okay. So you can skip consumer because this is just a definition, right? Okay. Of what a consumer is. If you look how you get primary consumer, mm -hmm. so this is just the person that consumes other organisms first, right? Okay. Like what you were telling me, right? Okay, so this is a tertiary consumer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Okay, are you satisfied? I don't know. Are you satisfied? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Ask yourself, does this make sense? Should I move it? Like, and I want you to trust what you think is right. Ask yourself, I have the definition for a uh, um, tertiary consumer, right? And I know what these arrows do. What do the arrows do? This one eats this. This eats this. So you're saying the rabbit eats the owl? No. That's what you said. <laughs> it's not that. Okay. Um, I'm going to explain it. So, this one is the first, uh, first consumer, right? Which one is? Can I get that tape? Okay. I'd rather check out with that. This one? Uh, it's right here. So, which one eats which one? Okay. So what I might do is I might ask Mikhail to remind me what the arrows mean in a food chain. I might just sneak over there and be like, and I think that that might help you get some perspective. Oh. <laughs> This is so, this is the sun. Oh, it's lunch. Yeah, the velvet range. It is lunch. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, guys, that's lunch. When we come back, each of you, two, four, two, four, six, seven. There's seven, so one of you might get a break. But each of you are going to have to explain and define what you put. You're going to have to explain a row. And then you are going to create your own food web of the ocean and answer questions about it. I'm gonna have a break. Ah. You're gonna have a break right now for 25 minutes. You say we are seven in one minute. I'm gonna have a break. What happened? You said we are seven and one gonna have a break. Oh, you want the break? Yeah. Okay, then you have to make your food chain, right? You have to be able to tell me what the arrows do. Oh, you don't get a break. Sorry, you have to tell me what the arrows do. Darn, God. I tried, but I get a you break? need to know what the, no. Why can't I get a break? Because there's seven of us. And everybody has a role. Eight of us. Eight. Eight of us. I don't appreciate this. This is bribery. This is bribery. You're dangling something in front of us so we can work towards it and we're not going to get it. Thank you for cleaning up your mess. Thank, thank you for cleaning my mess. Thank you. How's it going up there, guys? Watch them. Did you guys finish the multiple choice? No, I, I wrote that down. That was one of my uh, on my written observation. I said. Uh, right here, my one thing is very loud. It's hard to concentrate. Something must be happening upstairs. Um, we have been working 